Now let's apply the balloon example into our airways and lung. So this is the trachea and the bright main stem bronchus and the lungs. So there is resistive pressure involve the airway only and elastic pressure involve the lung. So the proximal airway pressure in order to push the air in needs to overcome the resistive pressure and elastic pressure. So you can say then proximal airway pressure has to overcome so the proximal airway pressure will be equivalent to resistive pressure plus elastic pressure okay let's come because it needs to overcome both to push the air in let's come to resistive pressure resistive pressure simply here is equivalent to the flow here all the way here multiplied by resistance that will lead to resistive pressure makes sense the elastic pressure as we explained is basically the volume that gets into the lung divided by its compliance let's go back and go over compliance how easy to stretch the lung out and how do we calculate it so you can change this say okay now the proximal airway pressure is equivalent to the flow multiplied by resistance plus volume divided by compliance this is the proximal airway pressure this equation can simply rearrange to be like flow is equivalent to the proximal airway pressure minus volume divided by compliance just separate that one to two minutes divided by resistance this is a very important equation i want you to understand very well and see the relation between the flow and the proximal airway pressure and both elements of resistance are representing this equation and affecting the flow as we mentioned the resistance here which mainly represent the resistive pressure and we have the compliance and the volume here representing the elastic pressure so both elements are involved and as now we know it's for sure will affect the flow this is a very important equation that we rely on in future lessons they affect the flow and as you can say affect the pressure the proximal airway pressure as well